Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStoot.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the Zolo Play Tab, the 7 inch tablet from Zolo and this tablet is powered with Nvidia Tegra 3 chipset as far as the chipset is concerned and this is how the box looks like. At the back side of the box we have some specifications of the device mentioned. So it has Nvidia Tegra 3 processor inside. You have a 1.2 GHz quad core processor and it is a 5 core processor basically so you do have an extra core for battery saving basically however the processing cores are only 4 so it will be a quad core processor effectively when it comes to other things you do have the nvidia graphic gpu on this device which is mentioned over here which is running at 416 megahertz and we will see how is the overall gaming uh, will look like on this device the front camera on the device is a 2 megapixel fixed focus camera however there is no rear camera on this device so this tablet does not have a rear camera also this tablet does not have sim calling or gsm calling facility you cannot insert a sim card into this device and when it comes to the display size it has 7 inch of high definition ips lcd display and again the definite uh, resolution of the display is 1280 into 800 it will give you around 216 pixel per inch and it has 5 point multi touch you have 1 gb of ddr3 ram on this device and when it comes to the battery the battery is again quite huge on this device that is 4000 mAh and it should give this device a pretty good battery backup and we will tell you that as well when it comes to the gps you have you do have gps and accelerometer sensor as well as you do have magnetic sensor as well on this device so the compass will work and you will have a precise gps navigation on this device it will run android 4.1 jelly bean out of the box as it is mentioned and it will have wi-fi connectivity as well so let's open the box and let's take a look what we have inside the box so the first thing which we get inside the box is the Zolo Play tab and this is how the tablet looks like as you can see looks pretty good in terms of the overall build quality I would say you have nice plastic kind of padding on the edges uh, which does have a texturized design which will give you a very nice grip when you hold the device in one hand and again they look very good when it comes to the center part you have aluminium over here you have Zolo branding over here nicely carved I would say and looks really good and this tablet definitely looks kind of premium in terms of the overall look and feel from the back side again the front is no way different from any other tablet out there and here we have the 2 megapixel front camera so we will take a look over the tablet later on let's take a look what we have in the package so this is how the package looks like and let me just open these things to show you what all comes within the package. So you get headphones with this tablet which are in-ear headphones as you can see with the 3.5mm audio lead like this and this is the module which you have. Again this one does not have any button or something or no volume controls as such. This is the micro USB to USB cable which you will get within the package, a standard one. Let's take a look over the charger now. So here we have the standard charger which comes within the package, looks good. The output current from this charger is going to be 2 ampere as you can see. So apart from these things, you do have a quick start guide from Volo about this tablet again very basic not very useful and you have a warranty certificate which comes within the package so these are all the things which come within the package so let's take a look over the device now so here we have the Zolo play tab 7 inch model and this is how the device looks like as we already showed you you have the loudspeaker vent which is actually at the back side on the curved side of it and they look good you have metallic mesh for the loudspeakers and then you have in with the branding over here the Zolo branding over here on the top you have the 3.5 mm audio jack here you have the micro USB port for data syncing and charging and you have a micro SD card slot on this device as well to expand the storage of the tablet the inbuilt storage of the tablet is 8 GB and again we will just show you how much of that is actually available 
Over here we see the plastic buttons, one is the volume locker and the other one is a power and sleep key and you do have a secondary mic as well on this device basically for video chatting. Okay so this is going to be the primary mic not the secondary mic uh, and this is going to be for video chatting. This device does not support GSM calling. So as we already told you there is a screen guard which comes pre installed on the device however you do not get an extra screen guard within the package of this tablet. And again it has got a lot of scratches and fingerprints so I will just remove the screen guard to show you the actual screen. So this is how the actual screen will look like and it looks pretty good. The touch screen response on the screen is really good and as far as the overall viewing angles are concerned we will just show you the viewing angles as well. So here we have the display on and this is how the viewing angles are going to look like on this tablet. Again, this device does an IPS LCD display but the viewing angles are not that good. You can also increase the brightness to view the screen from extreme view angles. For a better viewing angle basically you can increase the brightness of this device. And one thing I would like to point here is that this device does not have an ambient light sensor so it will not adjust the brightness automatically you will have to adjust it manually and once we increase the brightness you can actually see that you can see the screen from extreme viewing angles again at very extreme viewing angles either from the sideways or from the vertical you won't be able to see the screen now talking about this tablet in terms of the overall build quality this is good in terms of the overall form factor this tablet is pretty good i would say the weight of the tablet is around 338 gram and you can easily hold the tablet uh, with one of your hand because of these edges which is, does give you a very nice grip when you hold the device in one hand. When it comes to the thickness of the tablet it is around 10.6 millimeter, which is again fairly okay for a 7 inch tablet it is not that thick I would say and again pretty okay. You do have curved edges at the back side which will give you a nice grip and you won't feel the thickness of the tablet because of these curved edges. And the display is quite clear as well, uh, you won't feel any pixelation on this 7 inch display. Again the pixel density is not too high but even if you take a closer look you won't feel the pixelation which is there in the text or something like that. Viewing pictures or videos on this device is a good experience so again because of the good resolution. Now taking a look over the system configuration of this tablet, this tablet has an ARMv7 processor inside. Clocked at 1.2 GHz, it is a quad core processor as you can see and this is the model number of the chipset. And if we take a look over the effective resolution, the effective resolution is 800 into 1216 because of these touch capacitor buttons which are there within the display not on the body of the tablet. And when it comes to the sensors, you have accelerometer sensor, 3-axis accelerometer sensor, magnetic field sensor and orientation sensor as well. And magnetic field and orientation sensor as well on this device and this is how the interface looks like and again the tablet is pretty responsive as far as the touch screen is concerned all the sensors are confirmed they are working well on this device there is no problem the display is quite clear there is no problem as far as the display is concerned when it comes to the version of android which is running on this device let me just show you that first of all and then we will talk about the UI customizations or anything like that. So it is running 4.1.1 out of the box. And if we take a look over the storage scenario as of now. So again the inbuilt storage of this device is 8GB. Out of which around 5.68GB is available to the user. You do have an SD card slot which we just showed you on the top side basically. You can insert a micro SD memory card. When it comes to the brightness you do not have support for automatic brightness on this device because of the missing sensor when it comes to wallpapers it will support live wallpapers and static wallpapers video wallpapers by default are not supported when it comes to the keyboard input as well continuous input is not supported on this device as you can easily see that this device does not support continuous input as well or swipe to type basically when it comes to other things like the tethering and portable hotspot so you do have the option of creating a portable Wi-Fi hotspot on, as well on this device. However, you do not have a slot for the micro SIM on this device. Basically, you cannot insert a SIM card into this tablet. 
and when it comes to GPS navigation you can use GPS navigation as well on this device because this device does have support for that as well although uh, you will be able to use it with the help of internet connectivity only and as far as RAM is concerned you have 1 GB of RAM on this device and as of now we can show you the current scenario that right now out of 1 GB of RAM around 629 MB of RAM is being used whereas 342 MB of RAM is free on this device which is again not too high but again you can install more applications and games as well although installing more heavy games on this device will make this tablet a little bit slow in the UI transitions. The UI is again stock Android on this device. You have like 5 home screens which you cannot increase or decrease. Again you can make more home screens on this device in case you want to install a custom launcher from marketplace. But apart from that you cannot do it with the stock Android interface which is running on this device. And this is how the view will look like from the front camera. Again the front camera is capable of doing video calls through Skype and other third party applications as well. And this is how the video feed will look like as you can see. It is a 2 megapixel camera so don't expect much. It does not have tap to focus or auto focus in that case. You will need to hold the device quite stable in case you are doing a video call or taking self shots. Now one thing which I really like about this tablet is the great display. This display is pretty good in terms of the overall color reproduction I would say when it comes to taking photos either from the front camera as well or uh, renting any high definition photo on this device as you can see you can see the photo quite clear on this display the overall display quality in terms of the color reproduction and the rendering of colors is really good that is something which I really like about this tablet which you can easily notice the browser which we get on this tablet is again the stock Android browser which you might have seen on any other Android 7 inch tablet basically and it is not much in terms of functionality I would say but the browsing on this device is kind of okay there is no problem as far as rendering of the text is concerned the text is rendered quite precisely crisp and clear on this display when you are using the default browser you can again install the google chrome browser as well in case you need third party browser the default browser is pretty good i would say in terms of page to zoom it is quite fluid you do have double tap to zoom as well which works and you can also do panning in case you need to and kinetic scrolling is kind of smooth there is no issue this browser can also play youtube videos within the web page so you will not have to open the YouTube application in case you see an embedded video within a web page. Now when it comes to the pre-installed application which you will get on this device preloaded. There are not much pre-installed application I would say which comes preloaded on this device. There is no, There are no games, no additional application. Although you will get Zolo Care application with which you can actually uh, contact the Zolo Care in case you need to. And you do have Zolo power saving application which will again give you the functionality of saving battery power on this device this device has a 4000 mAh battery which is going to give you around uh, 8 to 9 hours of overall backup when you use it uh, for gaming for multimedia purpose for watching videos and all those things but when it comes to moderate usage or low usage it will give you around one day of battery backup as well at time because this device does not have GSM functionality so it won't consume a lot of battery when it is idle so as far as the benchmark scores are concerned we have got a score of 13916 for this device on N22 benchmark utility and this is where the device ranks when it comes to comparing it, comparing it with all other devices as you can see. When we take a look over the detail score this is how the detail score look like for this UX, CPU, RAM and GPU as you can see. On Quadrant we have got a score of 4249. As you can see and this is how the device ranks when it comes to comparing it with other devices and we have the detail score as well on the quadrant for the CPU memory input output 2D and 3D you can take a look and one thing as we expected this device is really good on the gaming front we have played some games on this device and we are going to demonstrate those games as well on this tablet for you this device has given a score of 55.4 fps and again this is a pretty good device for gaming in case you are thinking of buying it as a gaming tablet this is one of the best tablet which you can get at 
very affordable prices as of now so the first game which we are going to play on this device is a casual game and this one is called temple on oz when it comes to the touchscreen response the touchscreen response on this tablet while playing this game is pretty responsive i would say it is almost an instant response which i'm getting from the touchscreen as of now so there is no issue with the playback or with the graphics while playing this game the overall sound which is coming coming out from the loudspeaker is also pretty good i would say and it is not at full volume as of now that is something which we can tell you so this game is running pretty smoothly and the sensors on the device are also working well so the second game which we are going to play on this device is called frontline commando d day as you can see and till now the graphics are not that smooth that is something i can notice although the touch screen response is pretty good i would say it is not very sensitive but again you can play this game without any issues on this device as you can see but it is not the very sensitive touch i would say which i have seen on some other devices while playing this game as far as the graphics are concerned i can see a couple of frame drops on this device while playing this game but still you can play this game on this device that is more important i would say So graphics wise this game is not that smooth i would say but still it is running and you can play this game on this device on multi touch this device supports around 5 point multi touch so now we are playing a high definition video on this device which is recorded at 1080p and as you can see the video is playing fine on this device without any issues you can also forward or rewind the video in case you want to and the video will get played on this display without any issues let me just increase the volume as well so the overall loudness of the sound which comes out from the loudspeaker at the back side is pretty good again this video is not very loud i can show you some other videos as well this is 720p video on this device which we have loaded through the memory sd card and you can see the video playing fine on this device either it is a 720p video or a 1080p video without any issues on this device so now we are playing a high definition video from our channel and as you can see this video is getting played in high definition the overall loudness of the sound which comes out from the loudspeaker is pretty loud on this device when whenever we play a high definition video and that is something which we have noticed although if you place this device like this on a table again the sound will get muffled so the sound will get muffled but it will not get blocked because the loudspeaker is actually on the curved edges of the tablet and this is how the viewing angles will look like when you play a youtube video on this device pretty good So there is no problem as far as video playback is concerned on this device from YouTube. Although you will see these black bars above and top, above and below, basically whenever you are playing a video, you won't see them on the left or right, but you will see them on the top and bottom. So the video won't be a full screen video which will run on this device at least from YouTube. You will see some black bars. as far as the sound quality which comes out from the earphones which come within the package of this phone when you attach the earphones which come within the package with this jack over here the overall sound quality from the earphones is pretty good however it is not too good in terms of the bass levels that is something which we have noticed but in terms of the clarity there is no issue when you hear the sound from the headphones which come within the package of this tablet and this tablet also has support for otg as well and this is one of the few tablets which have support for otg so whenever you connect a flash drive you will see it getting denected uh, as far as otg support is concerned this is one of the few tablet 
which actually supports OTG. So whenever you connect this flash drive with the help of an OTG cable, you will see getting it detected. So you can read the contents on the flash drive on this tablet whenever you are on the go. Although if you connect the data dongles with this particular port over here using an OTG cable, you won't be able to use the internet on this tablet with the help of data dongles, but you can read the flash drive and some portable hard drives as well with the help of OTG feature which is supported on this device. The overall battery backup of this tablet is around one day if you are a very uh, moderate user if you don't use the tablet much if you use it for casual gaming only. In case you watch a lot of videos you play a lot of heavy games as well on this tablet it will give you around 6 to 7 hours of overall average battery backup. You might get more or less depending on your usage. So that's all from us as far as the full review of the Zolo Play tab. This is a pretty decent tablet as far as gaming is concerned. This is definitely a tablet designed for gamers. This will give you a pretty good gaming experience as far as other 7 inch tablets are concerned. It will give you a good gaming experience. When it comes to the price it will come for a price of around 11 to 12 thousand rupees which is again pretty okay for a display device of this size basically. In terms of the overall specification you get decent hardware specifications and 1 GB of RAM and the overall performance of this device in day to day usage is pretty good I would say. If not the best the display is also pretty okay. Although the viewing angles are not very wide on this display that is something which we have noticed but the overall color reproduction and the saturation of colors the contrast levels are pretty good on this display. Uh, the gaming performance of the device is also good. The overall experience when it comes to watching videos on this device is also good. The loudspeaker is pretty loud which is there and the backside. It does have two loudspeaker basically not a single one. So the overall loudness of the sound from the loudspeaker is also pretty good and uh, that's all from us do let us know if you have any specific questions for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you